Hello, my name is Jimmy Costello from the NX product marketing team. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing how you can use feature validation within your molded part design to ensure ribs and bosses match product expectations. To begin, I'm starting with this jigsaw. and We are going to take a look at the molded casing that fits around the internal components. I have already opened this part into a new window so we can begin. As you can see, when we open this new window, there are a number of features already included to ensure structural integrity. The first thing I want to investigate is how we can add new features and use feature validation for a singular instance. You may notice we have a wide range of mold features available including bosses, ribs, snap joints, and grooves. To begin, I'm going to open up the linear rib tool so we can add a new rib. When I open up the tool, you can immediately see the window is very user friendly. First, we are prompted to select the point our rib will start and the direction it will extend. You can also notice that the draw direction is already set to match the rest of the part and the target body is automatically found. Next, we can determine the size of our new rib using the legend tab for reference. Here, we can choose the height, thickness, draft angle, and blend options. Once these values are set, before selecting OK, it is important we check the validation tab to ensure our part reflects our modeling standards. To do this, we can select the icon next to validate and a window will pop up letting us know if the new feature passes or fails. Reviewing this window, we see this rib passes the check. One last thing to do before finalizing the feature is to preview our results using the show result button. This new rib appears as expected, so I'm going to finalize by selecting OK. Now that we've looked at how to validate new features, I want to take a look at how we can review all of our previously created molded features. Before running these validation tests, the first thing to check is the molded part design preferences. Here, there are a list of validation checks we can choose from, with customizable values and ratios. Additionally, we can also choose what color the validated features will be highlighted when the test is run. Once the validation checks have been selected, we can continue on to run our test by selecting feature validation from the top of the screen. When this is done, the molded part design navigator opens up with a list of all feature validation tests, and our model is also updated with a color coordinated display that contains symbols which correspond to the test results. The easiest way to navigate these results is to double click on the validation test you want to explore. This will zoom in on the feature that was tested. Next, selecting the plus next to the test in the navigator will expand the test results to show each check with their corresponding results and information. This makes it very easy to analyze your model and assess the next steps in the design process. In conclusion, in this video, we began by looking at how to create new features in mold designs. After that, we explored how to set preferences for your feature validation tests. And finally, we wrapped everything up by taking a look at how to view and assess your results when feature validation tests are on. I would like to thank you for your time and attention.